Hey math fans, welcome back to another fun math lesson with Maestro Collins. Today we will be focusing on division using the partial quotient method. All right, well I'm assuming you already know what division is. If you don't, it's the opposite of multiplication and you may have heard that multiplication is nothing more than repeated addition. That's partly true. So today we could actually say we're going to be doing the opposite. We are going to be doing repeated subtraction. However, we know that if we subtract uh, one number at a time, it takes us a long time. So we're going to do big groups that we're going to be subtracting. Check it out. We're going to say that we have a number here, 256. And we are going to divide that by 7. All right. So let me write it over here. 256. I'll rewrite it. Excuse me. Divided by Seven. Using the partial qu quotient, the partial quotient method, I can subtract. What I'm really asking is, how many times can I subtract seven from 256? You can think of it in a variety of ways. You can think that you have 256 jelly beans and you are making groups of seven. And how many groups would you have in the end? Right. You can think of money. 256 dollars and you're spending it seven dollars at a time maybe you're buying some sort of game you want to know how many items you can buy all right as i said before if we re subtracted seven minus seven minus seven minus seven that would take a long time so what we're going to do is we're going to multiply it up and then we're going to count how many times we multiply by seven to get to 256 or very close to it all right let's start I don't know what I can multiply times 7 to get 256. I don't know. So I'm just going to, I know that I can multiply by 10 because I learned that 10 times 7 is 70. So definitely I can, I'm going to have at least 10 groups. All right. Well, I can see that I'm not super close. I'm going to borrow from over here. And we've got uh, 15 minus 7 is 8, 8 tens, and then there's 100 left. All right, well, I still have a long ways to go. How about, since I, I've learned that 7 times 2 is 14, and 7 times 20 is 140, if I multiply 20 times 7, it will get me to 140. All right, we're getting closer. Uh, again, I'm subtracting this because I'm making groups and I'm taking it away from the total. 6 minus 0 is 6. 8 tens minus 4 tens is 4 tens, or 40. And then 100 minus 100 is 0. So I've got 46. Woo! I'm getting close. Now I know 7 times 7 is 49. We know that, right? Fourth graders. So 7 times 6. Tell me. Shout it out. Yeah, you're right. It is 42. Okay. I'm going to put it right there. Yay, we are super close. 6 minus 2 is 4. 4 tens minus 4 tens is 0. Okay, so I have 4 left over. Ooh, this 7, because I'm making groups of 7, and I only have 4 left. If I'm talking about jelly beans, I've only got 4 jelly beans. I can't make a complete group of 7. So I've got, this is going to be my leftover or remainder. Well, how many times... Or how many groups did I make of 7? Well, first I multiplied 10 times 7. I made 10 groups. And then I had 70 total, and I took those away. Then I made 20 more groups because that was 140 total. So 10 plus 20 is 30. And then I was able to make 6 more groups because 6 times 7 is 42. So I made a total of, this is 30, and 6. That six goes right there. And I made a total of 36 groups with four left over. So my answer is 36 remainder four. Or we can also say 36 because we're learning fractions. And we have a fraction of one group of seven and that fraction is four sevenths. So we always put the remainder over our divisor. 
and that would be it. So either one is correct. We have 36 groups of seven with four left over or 36 and four sevenths. How can we be sure? Well, it's pretty cool. We can multiply using the partial product method. We're gonna multiply our 36 groups times seven and then we have to add our remainder, that four. So don't let me forget that, okay? All right, 30 times seven is 210. And six times seven, as we already found out, and you guys shouted out, is 42. And we're gonna add those up. And we have 252. Hey, wait a second, they didn't match. Oh, thank you. I've gotta add my remainder of four. I almost forgot, thank you. All right, so if we add 252 plus, Four, we're going to of course have shout it yay we do we have 256 guess what it works our answer 36 and 4 sevenths or 36 remainder 4 works it's beautiful I hope you had as much fun 